Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to make a guy sexually addicted to you. And I've got six steps here for you to look at to make him sexually addicted. So um, if this is your first time to this channel, make sure that you go down and click the subscribe button so you can get more videos on how to have the relationship that you've always wanted. So let's get into the video. Step number one is to figure out what is this guy like, right? So that's number one. You want to find out what he wants and then give that to him. Don't just try to guess. You know, some women are like, oh, guys like this, guys like that. But they don't have any idea what you like. So, uh, you know, guys come in all kinds of different shapes and forms and they like all kinds of different things. And, and one of the mistakes is kind of lumping them all together and thinking that they all like the same thing. Not all guys like big boobs. Some guys like small boobs. Some guys like big butts. Some guys like small butts. It's all just, it depends on the guy. And so you want to find out what your guy is into. You know, is he into lingerie? Is he into dirty talk? What is he into? Um... You know, find out uh, what he fantasizes about and create, uh, help him create that fantasy that he wants to experience. And, and uh, he will give you clues and you can ask him and he will probably tell you unless he's really, really shy. Uh, step two is to be a little bit more aggressive. One, one of the things that you'll find out about men is that... Um, uh, a lot of guys think that women are a little bit too shy in the bedroom. Um, and uh, you'll hear a lot of guys talking about things where they they want to um, get these kind of like out of control fantasies that they have in their mind that they feel is kind of taboo and they don't really meet any women that are kind of into that kind of thing. Um, and so um, you might want to start off by being a little bit more aggressive than you might normally be unless you're like super crazy aggressive, which um, you probably aren't. <laughs> you, there's a very high probability that you aren't. Step number three, have sex with him more often. Um, give him clues, subtle clues that you're interested in having more sex. The more sex that you have with him, the higher the probability is that he's going to get sexually addicted to you. Um, I mean, there needs to be kind of a spaced out <laughs> period because it's that spaced out period that creates that longing. It's that um, the addiction comes in from kind of the, uh, uh, the experience of having that sex and all the dopamine that's going through his brain from all the uh, things that happen when he has sex. And then kind of that lack of sex that ends up happening afterwards, that disappearance that like it, it's there and then it goes away. It's like, think about gambling, right? So like um, one of the reasons why gambling is so addictive is because people win and then all of a sudden they lose a bunch and then they win and then they, you know, and, and it's that like, it's those winning, those random times of winning that really gets them. And so uh, you want to have them win, but then you want to kind of disappear and go away. But um you know, want more, want to have more sex. Uh, if you just like uh, have massive periods of time, I was talking to a friend the other day and he was telling me that he hasn't had sex with his wife in over two years. And I'm like, that's a little bit too long. Um, but that happens all the time. And uh, it's rare that a man will complain that you want sex more. So step number four is you want to uh, increase the period of um, foreplay, extend, have extended periods of foreplay, have extended periods of teasing him. And, and I'm not even just talking about in the bedroom, but like outside of the bedroom, um, you know, mess with him. Uh, there, <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing more hot than a girl who says something, whispers something into a guy's ear that's really sexually charged in a taboo place to do it you know, like out at a restaurant or something, but like, you know, whispers it and then just goes back to acting normal. I mean, it's so hot. Uh, but yeah, increase the foreplay duration. Uh, lifelong foreplay. That's a, <laughs> that's a fun thing. Step five, try to avoid the jealousy trap. Now, I, I think that it's natural and normal for people to get jealous. Um, 
but there's a big difference between going, yeah, I'm jealous, and then like diving deep into your jealousy, and and then we're jealous that you um, act. Uh, the less attracted he will feel. So get out of that. And instead, try to like um, <clears throat> try to make it more like if he talks about other women or he talks about like some porn or something that he's watched or some idea that he's had, um, instead of making it about that woman, instead of taking it personal, um, think about it as like getting a clue into some kind of fantasy that he wants to have. Um, I, I think that's a better way to look at it and I think it's a better way to avoid falling into the trap of, of being jealous and acting on that jealousy. Step number six Make everything okay to talk about. There's nothing more attractive than a woman that you can talk to about anything. You know, there's nothing less attractive than a woman that freaks out when you try to talk to her about something. And if, and if you have this kind of space where it's totally open for him to talk about his sexual bucket list, um, then it's like, you know, it's just, it's getting more glimpses, you know, again, it's not about, you know, this is going to happen or, you know, it's definitely going to happen or it has to happen or, you know, um, you know, he, he's got to do these things. Uh, don't make it about that. Just make it into uh, like a kind of a glimpse into his, his mind, the way that his fantasies work. And, and, um, there's ways to create those fantasies and get into those things without making it against your values or you know getting jealous about it or, or making it um, something into something that it's not. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.